In this video, we're going to talk about how you can manage the order of the policies that are on your Palo Alto. Now, the order of the policies is important because once you start having multiple policies in your environment, the first rule that matches the traffic is the one that wins. And basically, this starts at the top and works its way down. So when traffic comes in, the very first thing that happens is it is inspected to see if it, if it meets the goals for server to the DMZ policy. Basically having to do with what the source zone is, what the destination zone is, what the addresses, users, profiles, and other items are on that traffic. If it meets that, then it is applied to that rule. Uh, then that rule is applied and only that rule is applied. Once, if it doesn't meet that, then it goes on down to the next rule, in this case, um, our second rule, and it says, okay, do I meet this rule? Is my source and my destination the same? Do my policies, do my uh, security aspects all meet the same? If so, then it meets the rules. If not, again, it keeps working down to the intra zone and then ultimately the inter zone default. So the order of these rules can be very important because it may meet some rules or some rules may uh, inadvertently match the traffic that's coming in and so you want to change the order of that traffic. In order to move these around there's a couple of different ways. The easiest is just to simply click on the on the trap on the rule and then drag it to the correct location. So right now I have a permit server to internet as rule number two. If I drag that above rule number one then we'll see that rules one and two swapped places. Additionally, we can click on them and uh, down here at the bottom, there is a move button. And so you can select that and then say, for instance, move to bottom. And that will move that to the bottom of the list. Now you have to watch out because there are still two rules down here, uh, the intra zone and inter zone that are unmovable. They always have to be at the very end of the list. However, up here, you can still have dozens or hundreds of different rules, all depending on the size and configuration of your environment. The order of them is very important, and so you may need to change those around. Uh, if you're not entirely sure whether a rule is being applied or not, a couple of options, you can scroll on over to the right here, and you will see this rule usage section that shows how f how many times that packet or that rule has been hit and when it was last seen. Additionally, you can also come over to the monitoring tab and review the monitoring through here.